Hey guys, it's Danny. Yeah, I'm still sick, so disregard my voice. Today, we will finally announce the winner of the Orchid of the Year of 2017. This is the orchid you guys liked the best out of all of the orchids which bloomed last year in 2017. But before we find out, let's see who was on the third position and second position. On the third place, the Ivanagara Apple Blossom. I am really not shocked. This is such a wonderful orchid to have. Easy to grow, she doesn't need the highlights that Catlias usually have. You can get away with sunshine in the morning a little bit, but other than that, bright shade is perfectly fine for this orchid. She will bloom, she will be magnificent. She's not a tiny orchid though. She can produce a cluster of multiple flowers which smell to my nose like apple blossoms or freesias. So on number 3, the Ivanagara Apple Blossom, I believe she truly deserves it and definitely it is an orchid to look out for. On second place, surprise, surprise, Moniarara Millennium Magic, the truly black orchid. I was actually expecting this orchid to win, but nope, she's on second place. However, it is a very well-deserved place because she's absolutely breathtaking in person. Black orchids, or very, very close to black orchids, are just so rare. The Millennium Magic, though, is a wonderful bloomer, at least in my opinion. She creates quite big flowers, they're fleshy, they are fragrant as well although I'm not necessarily sure how many of you would like the fragrance the fragrance of it would do wonders for my sinuses at this moment but she's not in bloom anymore in any case not a finicky or fussy orchid easy to care for and also she's not very hard to find so definitely this is another one for the wish list And finally, on the first position, bearing the title of Best Orchid of 2017, we have the Raychara Frances Fox, or Mirmakara Vola, however you wanna call her. And I have to say, she is my pick as well. If I were to vote, and by the way, I didn't vote, but if I were to vote, I would vote for her as well. She is truly the one that I cannot wait to see rebloom. This orchid has wonderful big orange, red, purple, a combination of all of these colors, flowers. They're fragrant during the nighttime and they bear one of my favorite fragrances, which is the Brassavola type of fragrance. It is an easy orchid to care for in the Cattleya family. She is a complex hybrid and intergeneric, but as long as you have bright light and warm temperatures, she would do great for you. And currently she is producing a flower spike, so I'm hoping that in March we will see her in blue again. So good job you guys, I totally agree with you, the Francis Fox is absolutely one of the most beautiful flowers I have laid my eyes upon. If you have the chance to purchase it, I'm willing to bet that 90% of you at least will like her. And there you have it, this has been the contest, thank you guys for participating, I had a blast, hope you guys loved voting as well, I don't know what is it with us, with humans in general and voting, actually expressing our opinion when we like something, right? Don't worry, the contest will continue and tomorrow we're gonna see what orchids we had in bloom for January and hopefully my voice will be a little better tomorrow, so fingers crossed for that as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the contest and uh, let me know down below in the description. If you have the Frances Fox, what do you think? Do you like her? Do you not like her? If she's on your wish list, Thank you guys for watching, hope you've enjoyed this, you know the drill, rate this video below with a like or a dislike, subscribe to my channel for regular orchid videos, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And with that said, I'll see you all tomorrow, bye!